dear students in the previous class already we are completed how to create the ledgers alteration as well as delete okay till now we know how to create a company how to alter a company how to delete a company about predefined account groups then creation of account groups creation of ledgers alteration and deletion in the today's class let us concentrate on how to enter the transactions or vouchers in a tally okay for that when the startup screen appears go to work in educational mode okay assume that already a company is created and we are already created all the ledger accounts are required and classified them under appropriate account groups means when a problem is given to you you have to identify which ledger accounts are required for that and you have to create them and classify under appropriate account group okay for example started business with cash rupees 1 lakh means capital account is required and cash account is required okay purchased furnitures means furniture account is required cash account is required salary is given means salary account and cash account is required okay goods sold to a particular person means parties account and sales account is required purchased means purchase account is required okay like that you have to create all the ledger accounts required and classify them under appropriate account groups then only it is possible to go to the vouchers okay then okay first what you have to remember is you have to set this accounting period that appears in the gateway of tally okay our company's accounting period is 142021 to 313 2022 that we have to remember and all the vouchers we have to enter in between these dates okay these two dates only all the transactions or vouchers we have to enter okay if you want to change this alt f2 is the shortcut key when you press alt f2 change period dialog box appears if you want to change you can change okay but i don't want to change starting date is 14 2021 and the end date is 313 2022 1 year is set as the financial period okay alt f2 you can press and change this accounting period if required okay now to enter the transactions or vouchers what you have to do is go to the accounting vouchers option from the transactions section okay now you have to go for next part that is transaction section okay transactions means vouchers okay here we have to select accounting vouchers so v is the shortcut key just press v from the keyboard or click on the accounting vouchers then the accounting voucher creation screen appears okay srs is the company name okay whatever the company name you gave that appears here okay while entering the voucher some important points you have to remember okay that is first we have to enter the date of the transaction directly don't go for which ledger account is debited and which one is credited first what we have to enter is the date of the transaction okay press f2 or click on a date option from the vertical buttons bar then the voucher date appears okay voucher entry date that you have to enter okay for example 14 2021 Okay, so Neil started business with cash rupees one lakh on one April first, two thousand twenty-one means one four two thousand two thousand twenty-one is the voucher date. Okay, press enter. That appears here on the top left corner of the screen. Okay, that appears on the top left corner of the screen, and a day is also appears here. Okay, after entering the date of the voucher, next what you have to do is you have to select the type of the transaction that is voucher type it appears here on the top left corner of the screen okay depending upon the nature of the transaction you have to select this okay for example here our transaction is started business with cash rupees 1 lakh means money is invested money comes into the business so the voucher type is receipt okay number of inbuilt voucher types are provided by tally and all of them appears here on the vertical buttons bar one thing you have to remember depending upon the functionality of the screen the buttons in the buttons bar changes means if you are in the Mm, company creation screen then these buttons are different if you are in the voucher creation screen buttons are different okay now voucher creation screen means inbuilt voucher types such as contra payment receipt journal sales credit note purchase these type of inbuilt voucher types are displayed okay from 
that OCR type you have to select a particular OCR type depending upon our transaction. Here it is a receipt. Okay, for each OCR type, there is a particular function key. You can press the function key from the keyboard or just click on the uh, particular option or a button from the vertical buttons bar. And each voucher is identified by a particular color. When you click on the voucher type, the color of the screen also changes, isn't it? You are identified that now. Okay. So you have to select the particular voucher type. Then the control goes to the particulars column. Okay. Particulars column already you know in the manual accounting. In the particulars column, what you are going to do after writing the date in the particulars column, you are going to identify which ledger account or accounts are debited and credited. Okay, that you have to write to and by or CR and DR. They are identified by that particular convention. CR means credit, DR means debit, to means credit, by means debit, isn't it? Here in this particular transaction started a business with cash rupees one lakh a capital account is credited isn't it two entry first you have to write okay not like manual accounting always the debit entry comes there then the credit not like that here for some other types credit comes first and some other types debit comes first okay for example for payment debit entry comes first and for receipt it is credit entry two is credit Sunil's capital account is credited. Press enter and control is directly transferred on the credit column. Okay, amount we have to enter here that is one lakh. Okay, enter the amount. Press enter. Okay, buy means debit. Okay, if you want if you want to enter another credit entry, you can change it to two. Okay, but here that is not required. Just press enter. Control is transferred on the ledgers. Okay, which account? Cash account cash account is debited isn't it cash account is the default ledger account provided it is not created by us okay cash account and profit and loss account are two default ledger accounts are provided by tally isn't it press enter control is transferred on the debit column okay tally at each stage is going to balance or tally the amounts okay the credit amount is one lakh and cash one lakh is displayed here by default okay if you want to change that you can change or just press the enter okay when we have to change for example when you started business cash rupees fifty thousand and furniture rupees fifty thousand in that case two debit entries are required for cash fifty thousand you have to enter and for furniture also fifty thousand you have to enter but here the cash rupees one lakh means total amount you have to enter and press enter uh, press enter means enter key we have to press control is transferred on the narrations narration means explanation about a particular transaction okay you know that how to write the narration but in a tally that is not compulsory that is optional okay so just press enter okay when you press enter okay tally ask you say yes or no okay if you are okay with this particular transaction no further changes are required just just you have to press enter button or yes on the from keyboard you can press or y any one option okay enter you have to click on yes option or y okay one transaction is over now okay if you want to enter another transaction for example say another 25000 is deposited into the canara bank okay on 24 2021 on 24 2021 amount deposited into the canara bank rupees 25000 so first what you have to do you have to enter the voucher entry date press f2 24 2021 appears by default okay one date is incremented by default okay if you want you can change that or press enter okay after entering the date next what you have to do i think you are remembered isn't it voucher type you have to change here amount deposited into the bank okay voucher type here which voucher type you have to select amount deposited into the bank or withdrawn from the bank or fund transfer from one bank to another bank all these type of the transactions are classified under contra okay you have to select the contra voucher okay say here select contra or f4 okay then which account is debited and which one is credited that you have to select okay two account cash account is cash account is uh credited here isn't it so twenty five thousand that you have to enter press enter 
buy okay but here we are not created any bank account in that case if you are by mistake you are not created alt c is the shortcut key for creation okay alt c means secondary ledger creation screen appears from user entry screen itself okay we are not created any ledger account by mistake from user entry screen only if you press alt c then the secondary ledger creation screen appears or secondary screen appears okay name of the ledger is canara bank account a canara bank account that you have to enter okay Al alias means alternate name okay that is not required under okay bank account just press b and select the bank account from the list okay if required you can give the details or otherwise just skip okay that is account holders name account name ipsc code bank name branch all these details if you want to enter okay if it is genuine entry all those details you know and you have to provide that okay otherwise just skip and save the transaction okay control again comes back to the voucher entry screen here okay we are in the buy field or debit field canara bank account is debited now 25000 appears by default just press enter select the cash okay denominations are also displayed here okay in the advance version of tally okay to if 25000 rupees you have deposited into the bank okay denominations okay 2000 rupees how many 2000 rupees notes are there 1000 rupees notes all those details you have to provide okay 25000 2000 into 10 okay and 1000 into five okay now it's right isn't it press enter twenty five thousand. okay press enter now what happens the nara bank account is debited with the rupees twenty five thousand. narration is not required just skip it press enter and press enter okay like this we have to enter the transaction okay say another transaction for example we are purchased the materials or purchased some goods from abc suppliers okay then what you have to do okay say date f2 3 4 2021 or if it is on 5 5 4 2021 okay like this we have to enter the date date is not receiving no problem okay some problem is here okay then we have to select the voucher type voucher type is purchase okay select the voucher type voucher type is purchase okay when the purchase voucher we are selected okay for purchase and sales this we have to remember it comes by as a invoice okay by default it appears as an invoice means which items you are purchased quantity rate amount all those details you have to provide if all those details i don't want to provide okay just the amount i want to type amount of purchase or sales you have to click on as voucher okay click here on as voucher from the vertical buttons bar okay then here also supplier invoice number if you know that you can type okay if it is a real purchase that invoice number also you can type and date otherwise just press enter control is transferred on the particular column to which account is debited um, credited here that we have to select okay party's name okay say abc supplier that also we are not created just press alt c okay then create the ledger account say abc suppliers right press enter press enter it is sundry creditor party okay parties account that you have to select okay sundry creditors okay for sales it is sundry debtors okay here it is sundry creditors okay maintain bill wide details yes okay all those details you can skip no problem for the time being just select the group okay as sundry creditors okay remaining all are the default entries just press enter okay here also supplier details means supplier name and address you can enter state and sale tax number all those details we know when it is a genuine entry otherwise skip no problem 
okay abc suppliers account is credited say for rupees 15000 okay we are purchased the goods worth rupees 15000 from them okay on account we have to select bill wise details on account we have to select 15000 okay for 15000 and for purchase account okay for the purchase voucher always the purchase ledger account is debited okay press alt c purchase we have to create purchase account under purchase account okay we have to classify the purchase ledger account under the group purchase account okay these are different purchase account is ledger account here purchase account is the group predefined group inventory values affected yes or no okay you can type no also yes also for purchase account if you want to give the details of the materials then you have to type yes okay for purchase sales sales return and purchase return always inventory values are affected okay then remaining details you can skip and save okay purchase account if you don't want to give the details of the items just press enter control comes to the um, watcher entry screen okay amount of the purchase is 15000 narration i don't want to type that is the explanation press enter and save the transaction okay this is how you have to enter all the transaction one by one depending upon your problem okay from next classes let us take some simple problems okay then um, let us create the company first then the ledger accounts classify them then enter all the transactions okay now you know how to enter the vouchers in a tally okay after entering the vouchers i want to check whether all the vouchers are entered or not if you want to do some modification or alteration if you want to do the deletion then you have to go for day book that comes in the report section okay just press escape okay then go to the gateway of tally menu okay in the gateway of tally menu okay we have to go to day book day book directly it will not appear you have to click on a display option from gateway of tally menu go to display option display menu appears from the display menu go to day book okay press enter now okay uh, some transactions are appears here by default in the day book all the transaction will not appear only the last data transaction appears okay on a two four we make two entries on a one four one entry is there isn't it but that will not that is not appeared here if you want to display all the transaction press alt f2 okay alt f2 is the period okay say one four 2021 two Two four two thousand twenty one. Okay, change period that we have to set after going to the day book screen. Then all the transaction appears. Okay, if you want to enter change or modify any transaction, first you have to select that. Okay, for example, uh, in the contra voucher, amount deposited in the bank is not twenty five thousand. It is twenty seven thousand. Okay. By mistake we are entered as 25 if you want to change that amount just select that press enter which are alteration screen appears okay counting which are alteration screen appears okay from day book that you have to select okay press enter okay any change you can do date voucher type even ledgers or amount say 25000 is not required it is wrong so 27000 you have to change it as okay do it as 27000 and then save denominations also you have to change it is 7 now okay 27000 to the required changes from the day book after doing the required changes press enter and when the accept message box appears you have to press enter otherwise in between if you press escape the transaction or voucher will not be saved okay when the accept dialog box appears you have to press enter that is very important you have to remember for all the dialog boxes you have to proceed until the last step when the accept dialog box appears you have, you have to press enter or click on yes option or y from the keyboard okay if you want to delete a transaction for example purchase is not required okay this entry if you want to delete again from the day book 
okay from gateway of tally display option from display menu go to table in the table press alt f2 set the period when all the transactions appear select the particular transaction which you want to delete for example purchase press enter okay now this particular transaction is not required if you want to delete then what you have to do press alt d okay when you press alt d delete message box appears okay delete message box is the confirmation if you want to delete the particular transaction okay once again it will ask you okay if you press enter or y or yes with the help of keyboard the transaction is permanently deleted here yeah, that will not appear okay if you want to delete that is possible from the alteration mode you know the rule isn't it deletion is only possible from the alter mode by pressing alt d alteration we done from the daybook isn't it so you have to go for daybook only for deletion also okay from the daybook you have to select and when it appears in the alter mode you have to press alt d and then press enter okay this is we have to make the voucher entry then alteration or modification finally deletion okay then from the next class let us take some genuine problems and enter the transactions thank you